In this video, we will discuss cell motility. Means how cell move, how cells they move from one place to another place. So this is the main topic here. And first thing that comes in our mind when we discuss about cell motility is the cilia and the flagella. These are the important structure. They are present in eukaryotic cells and with the help of these structures, cells can do various things including cell motility. And now let's talk about their structure. Their structure is basically similar to the hair in our body. And you can also resemble the structure of these uh, appendages and they are like whip shaped structures. You can also call them whip-like structures. And the next thing that is important that they are extended from the many types of cells. They are present. Many, many of the structures, for example, flagellum is present in case of prokaryotic cells as well. Cilia is completely absent in case of prokaryotic cells. Now let's talk about their uh, some of the variations. For example, length there is a difference between the length of flagellum and cilium. And then they are also present in different number in different cell types. So this is one of the basic thing. Now, let's move on to the structure. So first, general structure, not the molecular structure. So here, I will also discuss the motion. In, in case of flagellum, you will have a base, basal body and then a structure specific that elongated part of the flagellum will extend and then one part of that particular extended structure is the passive part where minimum motion is present and next you have that uh, part where a lot of motion is happening and that motion is specifically propeller like motion so in case of flagellum it is important to understand that the motion is more like propelling motion and second when we discuss about the structure of the cilia in case of cilia you'll have a basal body which is uh, represented here in the pink color and then you have the cilia and it doesn't have that passive part it will be uh, doing that motion like uh, back and forth motion straight from the basal from that basal part and you'll not have that passive part in in case of cilia and the length of the cilia is also uh, smaller than the flagellum now the motion in case of cilia is a back and forth motion now in including its role in cell motility it also involved it is also involved in case of many other functions so let's discuss the first function which is propelling cells these two important structures they are useful in moving cells freely in moist environments or in case of the aqueous environmental conditions second important function apart from cell motility is the sensory function as the name indicates sensory means they are going to sense something so in this case they will sense the change in the surrounding that could be any physical change that can be um, any type of a chemical change using these structures they can sense the change in the environment and the third very very important function which is transporting material they can transport material from one part to the other so the transportation will be more like guiding the material to to a specific uh, place or in, in in a particular direction so the guiding the guiding basically to guide the movements of a given material and when we talk about again i do want to mention that when we talk about cilia and flagellum in case of prokaryotic cells you don't have cilia and when we talk about flagellum its structure is completely different in case of the prokaryotic cell. So we'll discuss the prokaryotic flagellum in more detail in our next video and we'll also discuss the structure of cilia and flagella in case of eukaryotic cell cells. So now let's revise what we have discussed. In this case, we started with the cell motility and then we discussed what are the important structures that are present in the cells that helps in cell motility. Apart from its function in case of cell motion, it is also involved in case of propelling, which is which is cell movement. Uh, second one is the sensory function where we can 
uh, we can say that cells cells they are going to sense the environmental changes that is the transporting material and transporting material in the sense that they can direct the material by using that particular motion and we have discussed that in case of flagellum you have propeller motion and in case of cilia you have back and forth motion so we have we have discussed a couple of things and i hope that this this video is going to help you to understand uh, the basic concepts of cell motility we'll cover the structure of cilia and flagella in our next video we'll also cover the structure of prokaryotic flagellum in our next video so um, maybe after that right so so please stay tuned to the channel and uh, do watch these videos and if they are helpful then please like and comment and uh, i hope that these videos are going to help you in your in your competitive exams or in your assignments so if you want to support the channel you can share the videos with your friends and i i will definitely uh, try to more make more videos on the similar topics so thank you take care